Welcome to another video from Gunther Diamond Tools. Today uh, we are going to do a setup of the multi-drill system. Uh, you can check out our multi-drill unboxing video for a little bit more detail on uh, kind of the parts and, and components that you'll get in the multi-drill when you order it. Um, but today we're going to put them together on this Ryobi drill press I got at Home Depot. Um, you can, this system will adapt most any drill press as long as the chuck is big enough to um, receive the uh, seven millimeter shaft on our drilling spindle. So um, once you've ordered your multi-drill and received the package and unboxed everything, um, I typically start with uh, connecting the uh, water system. So this is a uh, compression fitting on the drilling spindle. Um, just uh, unthread the nut and uh, put the nut on the on the uh, the hose first, so that the uh, the threaded portion is facing the end of the hose. Uh, then you um, the barb there, and then come back and tighten it down. I'm just doing it by hand, but it's probably a good idea to uh, uh, grab a pair of pliers and just give it a, a little extra turn. Um, and then on the other side. Uh, we're going to do the same thing with the hose connector. So um, unthread the, the nut, put the threaded portion towards the end of the hose, and then insert onto the barb and tighten it back down. And again, just give it a little snug turn with a pair of pliers or something. So then my water system's connected. Um, Next, I take my drilling spindle and um, insert it into the chuck. This just goes in like any drill, drill bit would. Put it all the way in there and tighten it down nice and snug, just like a regular drill bit would be. Next, uh, take the magnetic foot or the magnetic base and put it on the foot of the drill press. Watch out because it's a pretty strong magnet and it really hurts to get your skin pinched in there. So um, just kind of be aware. Um, and we're gonna start with the counterpart insert. So I take the metal insert, put it into the magnetic base and there's a, let me see if I can do this in a different direction so you can take a look. There's this bolt that uh, this on the side that I'm just gonna snug down so that metal insert does not spin. Then I'm going to insert my drill bit. So this is the 2.5 millimeter drill bit that comes with the multi-drill and this is the ejector needle. Um, so make sure the ejector needle is all the way to the end of the drill bit. And then insert into the drilling spindle. Now you're gonna feel some resistance um, because it's spring loaded. So if you see here, there's a spring in there. Um, what you're gonna to have to do is push through that spring's resistance and turn slightly to get, let those threads catch. It's a threaded, uh, it's a threaded attachment. So, so push through that spring until the threads catch and then um, hand tighten it up until it's um, nice and secure and then hold your hold your chuck and I, I'm using a pair of pliers and just get it snug you know you're not trying to uh, put too much pressure on it um, but but you know just get it snug so it's not going to come out uh, then you insert your counterpart and screw that down by hand and again do the same thing Tighten it nice and snug so that it's not going to come loose. And then tr work on, and now it's time to align your system. So as you can see, um, these two need to be flush together. So I need to, um, actually the height looks pretty good. Um, I'm gonna use a plastic mallet to try and bring it in closer. Have the drill press all the way down so that they're 
close. It's not perfect yet, but it's close. Now I'm going to raise the foot, so loosen it up. Until I can feel some resistance um, between the drill bit and the counterpart. And I'm going to tighten it back down. All right, so um, the height looks good. Now I'm just going to come in here and give it a few more taps to try and get it lined up. Perfect, right there. All right, at this point, we are ready to drill. And then you just connect this to a hose or a water spigot. And you see this is on a bearing, so it's not gonna spin around, and it's even more stable when the, uh, the line is filled with water. So yeah, and then if you want to um, use any of the alternate inserts, basically just loosen this bolt Pop this in and readjust your table, raise your table so um, you're still centered or is to the depth you want. Or same with the uh, with the bead nest. Raise up the table so that it's it's, it's to the depth that you want. And uh, you're drilling. Super easy. Thanks for watching.